15 things to do in Phuket. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video because you're not going to want to miss a single one. But before we get into it, smash that like button, subscribe, and let's get it. First thing you got to do when visiting Phuket is check out all the different beaches. Although this isn't something you can do just in one day. And your whole trip might be about checking out all the different beaches. Because in fact, there are so many. Phuket is known for its exotic beaches, white sands, and crystal clear waters. The most popular would be the ones around and close to Patong, as well as Patong Beach itself. But there are plenty more to list, such as Freedom Beach, Surad Beach, Kata Beach, Banana Beach, and Kamala Beach. In fact, that's only to list a few, because there are a total of 24 different beaches around Phuket that you will definitely enjoy exploring. Next up on this list, check out one of the many amusement beach club water parks. If I had to list one, check out the Blue Tree Water Park, which isn't just a water park, but an entertainment hub. Open from 10 a.m. till 8 p.m., day and night, with activities for all ages. This water park hosts Thailand's largest crystal lagoon, which includes Thailand's longest superfly zip line, as well as a water jump, a covered open air amphitheater arena, a lifestyle shopping village, and a huge natural forest park with an array of fitness and sporting activities. Meanwhile, just hanging out with poolside service could be enough to fulfill your dream vacation. Number 3. Check out Phuket's Big Buddha, which is a must-visit attraction for anyone traveling to Phuket, if not the first thing you should do when traveling to Phuket. The giant statue is absolutely breathtaking and provides a sense of peace and serenity while the view from the top of the mountain is stunning and definitely worth the climb. Just make sure not to anger the monkeys. I'm only kidding, they are friendly. But however, you gotta watch out for any loose items you might be carrying, including bags with food, because the monkeys are known to be thieves and steal your stuff. This is not a joke, this is true. But if in fact you do witness such scenes, it will definitely make the experience that much more memorable. Number 4 on this list is set sail for the Fifi Islands, which are a group of islands located a 2 hour ferry ride from the southern tip of Phuket. The pristine beaches, stunning rock formations, and vivid turquoise waters will surely not disappoint. In fact, Fifi is two islands, Kofifi Don and Kofifi Le. Kofifi Don is where you will find Long Beach and its wide array of restaurants, bars, nightclubs, shopping, and all the hotels. While Kofifi Le is only accessible by tour or chartered fishing boat but well worth the visit to witness Monkey Beach, Maya Bay, and the surrounding rock formations. Next up on this list is visit Promtep Cape, which is located on the main island at the southern tip of Phuket. In fact, you can check this place out after coming back from your Fifi Islands tour. The Cape is a scenic viewpoint and one of the most photographed locations in Phuket. Number 6 on this list is go bar hopping in Patong and take a walk down the Bungalow Road walking street, which is Phuket's most popular nightlife area. Phuket's Bungalow Road really comes to life after sunset at 6pm when the road is closed to traffic and becomes a 400 meter festival of neon lights, loud music, and cheap beer.
Here is where you will find plenty of bars, nightclubs, live music, as well as some adult-only entertainment. With reasonable beer prices and good live concerts and bands every night, you'll probably never want to ever leave the island. And for good reason. Next up on this list is Go Ziplining at Hanuman World, which is Thailand's largest zipline park. The park is famous for its treetop activities, while also being an eco-friendly destination. The rainforest and lush greenery make it a special place for nature lovers looking for a thrill-seeking adventure. Number 8 on this list is check out the dolphin show at the Nemo Dolphin Aquarium. Here is where you will get to meet the dolphins in an up-close and personal show, where the dolphins perform balancing acts, dance to music, and jump through hoops. You will also see the trainers as well doing tricks and swimming with the dolphins. Number 9 on this list is go snorkeling at the Kai Islands, which are located about a 15 minute boat ride from the east coast of Phuket in Pang Na Bay. Here is where snorkeling is at its best. You will enjoy swimming with colorful fish like the Finding Nemo fish all while discovering coral reefs in crystal clear waters. The islands themselves are relatively small, but here is where you could also enjoy water sports like jet skiing also. Number 10 on this list is depending on whether you are already planning to stay in one of these resorts or have a hotel with a rooftop swimming pool or not. Spend at least one night or two nights in a private pool villa or a hotel with a rooftop infinity pool. Phuket is known for having a wide array of cheap, affordable hotels with rooftop pools as well as some of the most luxurious resorts with private pool villas. Capping off a night watching the sunset in your hotel resort pool, then having your room and your bed only steps away, will make for the perfect relaxation experience. Next up on this list is take a boat tour to James Bond Island and go canoeing through caves in Bang Na Bay. This place is where nature, movies, and adventure come together to offer visitors an unforgettable experience. As its name will entail, the island gets its name from being featured in the 007 James Bond movie, The Man with the Golden Gun. This is still one of the best day tours in Phuket, with plenty of scenery you will want to photograph. Number 12 on this list is watch some Muay Thai kickboxing at Bangla Boxing Stadium Patak, which is the largest Muay Thai stadium in Phuket. Authentic Muay Thai fights last around 5 rounds and is definitely an extreme and exciting experience you will want to watch. Next up on this list is check out one or all of the many viewpoints in Phuket. Scenery, photography, or just posting to social media will for sure take up some bit of your time while in Phuket. Some noted spots are Karon Viewpoint, Sorin Beach Viewpoint, or Black Rock Viewpoint, all of which offer picture-perfect sceneries. Number 14 on this list is check out Wat Suwan Kuha also known as the Temple Caves. Here you will find a large golden reclining Buddha statue surrounded by limestone caves. You can come to pay your respects, find cool monkeys in the area, and take pictures while exploring the large, dark, interesting caves. And last on this list, but not least, is check out the Elephant Sanctuary. I would highly recommend a visit to the Elephant Jungle Paradise for anyone wanting to have an unforgettable experience with these magnificent animals. 
you will be able to see all of the elephants bathing, eating, and hanging out in their own natural habitat. Definitely a great way to cap off your trip in Phuket. Anyways, that wraps up my top 15 things to do while visiting Phuket, Thailand. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more videos like it, make sure you check out all my other videos. And if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one. Thinking about your next vacation? Phuket? Patong Beach? Thailand? Well, if so, Patong Beach is known for its 2,850 meter or 1.7 mile long beach that runs the entire length of Patong's west side. As the most popular beach town in Phuket, Patong has the most restaurants, shopping centers, bars, shows, and entertainment than all of the other beaches in Phuket combined. But what makes Patong Beach so popular is probably its nightlife, which runs along from Patong Beach up the Bungalow Road walking street. So maybe you've already got plane tickets and plans, but you haven't quite figured out accommodation. Well, don't worry, because I got you covered. In this video, we are taking a look at the top 5 best hotels in and around Patong Beach Bungalow Road. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video because you're not going to want to miss a single one. But before we get into it, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and let's get it. Kicking off the list in no particular order but in the number one spot is the Hotel Clover Patong. Located right in town center, this polished hotel is a minute's walk from Patong Beach along the Andaman Sea. It's 35 kilometers from Phuket International Airport and about a 5 minute walk to Bungla Road Walking Street. Sleek contemporary rooms offer complimentary Wi-Fi while some rooms offer furnished balconies and all the perks you expect to see in a hotel room while upgraded rooms have balconies, modern artwork, day beds, terraces, and even hot tubs. And what's even more spectacular is the stunning rooftop outdoor swimming pool that features a sun deck and a poolside bar with views of the sea. On top of that, you've even got a relaxed chill restaurant bar on the roof as well as on the main floor of the hotel. Number two on this list is the Block Hotel. A minute's walk from Patong Beach and the Andaman Sea and pretty much right around the corner from the last hotel that we looked at, Hotel Clover. This modern hotel with a laid back vibe is only 8 kilometers from the flying Hanuman zip lines and jungle bridges and 24 kilometers from the Big Buddha Phuket while upgraded rooms feature views of the sea. Amenities in the hotel include a stunning outdoor rooftop swimming pool and a cocktail bar with sea views as well. On top of that, dining in the hotel includes an informal cafe slash restaurant, a lounge, and you've even got a gym. Number 3 on this list is the Kudo Hotel. Visiting the Kudo Hotel, some will say, is visiting the number one hotel in Patong Beach. Some of the biggest events year-round are held at this hotel. 
daily beach activities, nightly events, and non-stop good vibes can all be expected while staying at the Kudo. The hotel boasts a bar with two floors, a restaurant, and a beach club, all of which are located inside an alfresco beachfront dining to guests. With fantastic views across the bay, you are sure to enjoy stunning views while dining or just hanging out in the restaurants or the beach club. The hotel is located steps away from Patong Beach and Bangla Road. Other amenities in the resort include a fitness center, a clubhouse for adults, of course the beautiful swimming pool, stunning views, as well as a conference room. Number 4 on this list is the Millennium Resort Patong Phuket, which is located next to Jong Sai Long Shopping Center. This upmarket resort is only a 5 minute walk from Patong Beach and 6 minutes from the lively nightlife Bungla Walking Street. Upgraded rooms in the hotel offer terraces, hot tubs, as well as direct pool access. Dining in the hotel includes three eateries featuring poolside and outdoor dining, as well as a lounge and a bar. Additional amenities in the hotel include two outdoor swimming pools, a spa, and a fitness room. And of course, the breakfast buffet that we all look forward to in the mornings. Number 5 on this list is the Key Resort. This hotel is actually attached to a shopping plaza. This contemporary resort is a 2 minute walk from Patong Beach and 5 minutes on foot from the nightlife Bungla Walking Street. Airy rooms offer balconies while some offer whirlpool tubs, sitting areas and terraces with direct access to the swimming pool. An open-air buffet restaurant offers international dishes and a rooftop bar serves light fusion fare. There's also a trendy cocktail bar and a swim-up wet bar in the lagoon-style swimming pool. Other amenities in the hotel include a spa and a fitness center. Anyways, that wraps up the list of the top 5 best hotels in and around Patong Beach, Bungla Road. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more videos like it, make sure you check out all my other videos. And if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one.